Hey guys, today I'm going to be painting the Horned Golem for the board game Wild Ascent by Lazy Squire Games. Now that is already on Kickstarter right now. You can check in the description below for a link to the Kickstarter. This is just a a preview miniature, but unlike a lot of preview miniatures, this is uh, done by Archon Studios, so they just printed one up the same as they would their other games. I've had several Archon games and they all have this kind of level of detail, so great detail here. Here what I did is I primed in gray and then I'm just slapping on Nolan Oil onto the rocks there. Then I'm going to get some hemp rope from Army Painter and paint in these uh, kind of tufts of uh, foliage, this kind of grass plant stuff here. Uh, a little bit of, some of it's kind of hard to reach here in the middle, but I, I'm i fine with that because I can still get to it and it's totally worth it to have this awesome base. Next is Athonian Camo Shade. I'm really making this pool in the middle and then kind of putting it on the undersides and towards the bottom of the leaves, give it a natural highlight. From that we're moving on to Deathclaw Brown and this is going to be the large base coat for the entire Horned Golem here. So just cover them head to toe um, or I guess you know, earth block to, you know, horn, I don't know, it w either way, just kind of cover them all. This this kind of takes probably the most amount of time. This whole miniature painted up real quick, by the way. It's a simple color scheme, and he looks so much better painted. Totally worth it. Low skill level needed here. It's not that hard. Take a little bit of time on the finger, stuff like that. But otherwise, it's, it's really easy. And uh, so I highly suggest painting a lot of these when you first get it, um, so that... You know, you, you can just get a lot of them painted already and get that kind of sense of satisfaction right off the bat. I really like quick minis like this that still look really good. Next up we have Agrax Earthshade. Again, this is just going to be the wash that's going to cover the entire kind of body of this golem here. Um, I'm not worried about the glyphs or anything like that. Just kind of push it on there and uh, you, you'll be fine. It's going to pool really heavy. There's a lot of big cracks here. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Alright, so right here I'm going to actually take a dry brush and as you can see I'm just dipping it in where it's really really pulled and I'm um, pulling it out, it's going to soak back into the brush a little bit, kind of like putting a paper towel on, on a spill. And that's really helpful because I don't want it super heavy all the time. Um, and so it, it just a nice trick to do if you see a, a big pool there that you don't want to look really shiny and kind of kind of gross. So this is kind of a neat trick I've done before. So you just I'm just getting ash gray here and I'm painting it very lightly, it's like a highlight already onto the parts that I think are too dark and then I just wipe it away with my finger and it lightens it up. So anywhere that it pulled too much on the rocks, that's what I'm doing there. And now I'm just doing the edge highlight. This is still the ash gray, very watered down. And notice I'm using the edge of the brush. I'm not actually trying to use a tip because when you press down on the brush, it's going to um, push the bristles a little bit and make it a little bit uh, thicker line than you want. Or you can use the edge of it and just scrape it across and it doesn't move the bristles like that. So really good for these edge highlighting. This will make the rock really pop up. So I took the just kind of the base gray uh, primer that I used. Null oil, ash gray highlights. Um, this uh, again a little time consuming. Um, not a terrible amount. I, I spent like an hour and a half on this mini. It wasn't actually terrible at all. Trust me that's pretty quick for me. Um, and this highlighting makes it look so much better. Alright, so now we have Deathclaw Brown back out. This is just to get the baseline in, and again, if there are any pools of any wash that I don't like, I can just kind of redefine kind of the shape of the rocks here. Um, so this, every single piece of um, his, his body that's not a, a crevice is pretty much getting this to bring it back to the base coat, because I'm actually going to go one level higher, but not everywhere, so we'll get to that in a bit. Alright, so now I've added a little bit of white into this Deathclaw Brown, just a little bit, like a little drop out of the bottle. And this just lightens up the Deathclaw Brown a little bit and gives it kind of a natural highlight. So now what I'm doing is I'm strategically kind of 
um, imagining kind of what the light light source would be. I don't I don't have a specific like light on him. Instead, it's more like the sun or something like that. So it's a general highlight, typically kind of from the top. Um, but it's also really good to do stuff like the face here because you can define the facial features a little bit better by giving a kind of an extreme highlight on his lips, nose, and eyebrow. Um, but otherwise, again, it's just kind of covering um, some of the pieces kind of towards the top that I would like to define more or with things that just want to pop. Uh, so just kind of go around there and highlight what you think looks good. Um, again, light kind of reflects and refracts, and I don't pretend to understand at all. Uh, I just kind of didn't until I was happy with it. Void Shield Blue is a very, very bright blue. And so what I'm going to do here is paint the eyes and then paint in the glyphs. Now, there's a little tiny crevice where you could paint the glyphs at. If I had picked maybe a brush that had a better tip instead of just being small, I might have been able to do a little bit better as you can see it's kind of getting everywhere. That being said, I want these glyphs to glow anyway. So I'm just kind of getting the basic color in here and then I'm going to worry about kind of the OSL effect uh, kind of at the end. Alright, so now I have Void Shield Blue again, but it very, very watered down to a glaze. What this allows me to do is just kind of paint it over anything and it just tints that color blue. So what it's going to do is it's going to go over this Deathclaw Brown, especially the highlighted up Deathclaw Brown, and just kind of give it a highlight. It, it does great on the eyes too, just kind of glob it in there. And you don't have to be too careful anyway, it's supposed to be glowing, it's supposed to kind of expand its light source everywhere as if it's kind of um, a bright light and this splash of color I think is really nice if you wanted you could get some almost pure white and just trace over perhaps parts of those glyphs um, if you wanted to I'm also putting some on the the base itself as if it's glowing back onto the rocks Alright, so now we have Orange Fire out. This is kind of almost the last step here. And all I'm doing is, the, on the concept art, his horn has like this kind of like, I don't know if it's electricity or what, this kind of glowing portions to him. But then it kind of goes onto his face. And I thought it's a great splash of color to maybe even expand a little bit more. So I probably went a bit heavy on this. Um, you can be the judge, but again, play it by ear. You know, do whatever you want. I think it really brings the focus more onto his face. Um, as opposed to maybe where those big glyphs are on his arms, which I kind of like. Uh, so, and again, it's just another splash of color, kind of the, the third main color here, or fourth main color here. So I'm just kind of putting it kind of on lines and at the tips. I then add a little bit of white, again, just a little bit, and I'm just kind of adding a little bit where I want it brighter. So on the tip of the horn, on the tips of some of the other crags here, maybe on some of the lines or some pieces that I think don't have enough orange to really make them pop. All right, last. See, we're already almost done. This is really easy. Mechanic is standard gray. I'm gonna put that on the rim. It's a very neutral gray, and I think it works great for kind of like a base rim thing to kind of blend it all in, but still kind of stand out a little bit. That's it. That's all there was to it. Really easy, paints up quick. I'm really happy with them. And this harsh light, I think the glow looks kind of worse, but trust me, you'll never see it. If your game room is lit up like this light box is, your eyes are going to hurt. You're going to have a headache. <laughs> but either way, uh, I really, really like how this turned out. It's a very cool mini. And, uh, also, you can be looking forward to this. The next video will be my Earth Dragon from Rising Sun, and yes, I'm giving it away to one of the patrons. I've already done it, so if you aren't a patron yet, you're not getting this guy, but I do like to just send out minis as a show of appreciation. So if you want to be a part of an awesome community, check out my patron link below as well. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.